Close your eyes and pay attention to your breath. When you breathe in, where do you feel the breath? When you breathe out, where do you feel it? Focus your attention there. And as for any other thoughts or distractions that come your way, you don't have to pay attention to them. Just pay attention to the sensation of the breathing coming in and going out. Give the mind a good place to stay. Because the mind is like a little child. If it doesn't have a home to stay in, it goes wandering around and gets into a lot of trouble. And usually it doesn't keep track of where it's gone. If you were to ask yourself, where have you been sending your mind for the past hour, you'd be hard put to sketch out all the places, to draw a map of where it's been. It's all over the place. You can go around the world in just a blink of an eye. So no wonder it gets into trouble. It goes to places where it, it, it sees things as being attractive, and then it begins to realize it's dangerous here. It's got to get out. So it gives the mind a good place to stay right here. Breathe in a way that feels comfortable. Give yourself a grounding right here. And when the time comes to think, you can think about things that are really useful. And when you don't have to think, you can come right back here. Because the mind gains strength by staying still, being undisturbed. This is where its real well-being is. As the Buddha said, there is no pleasure aside from stillness, aside from peace. So we might think of some very unpeaceful things that give us pleasure, but you're being, you realize it's because the mind can stay with them. That's what it means by peace, is that the mind can stay with something. It doesn't have to keep jumping around. And when it can stay, then it can settle in and begin to drop some of its tension, have a sense of well-being right here. That's how it gathers its strength. But at the same time, you have to be mindful and alert. In other words, remember you're going to stay here and you're not going to think about anything else but the breath. And alert to any other little pseudopods the mind might send out to other things. Make sure that they don't connect. Just bring them back in. And it's in developing the mindfulness and alertness, that's when the mind gets really trained, so it can take care of itself, so that even when it leaves home, it can maintain itself, keep itself safe. So when it runs into something it knows is going to be harmful for it to think about, they just drop it. Learning how to drop your thoughts is as important a skill as learning how to think. That way you get to use your mind wisely, and you get lots of benefit out of it. So it gives the mind a good place to stay, where it can gather its strength, it can develop its good qualities. Because the mind is what we have to depend on. As aging comes, as illness comes, as death comes, the help that other people can give us is going to get less and less. They can't stop the aging. They can stop some of the signs of aging. But the aging itself keeps going on. The illness comes, they can stop some of the symptoms, but not all of them. When death comes, even the most expert doctors have to throw up their hands. That's when you're on your own. So make sure you develop the qualities where the mind can take care of itself on its own. And it starts with simple exercises like this, just staying with the breath. The mind winds off, just bring it right back. Wind us off again, bring it back again. Don't give up. After a while, the, as you breathe more comfortably here in the present moment, you'll want to stay here. And that'll be your safe place. 